Dinosaur Deathmatch when the legendary T-Rex goes up against 100 vicious Velociraptors. Who is the superior predator? Will the raptors dominate using strength and numbers? Or is it dinner time for the T-Rex? Get ready for some Cretaceous carnage! It's T-Rex versus 100 Raptors! Welcome to tonight's battleground! It's 65 million years ago and it's quiet at the watering hole. Too quiet. The T-Rex doesn't know it, but 100 Velociraptors are planning a surprise attack. It's a coordinated strike to overthrow the heavyweight champion. But before this ambush goes down, let's meet our contenders. In this corner, weighing in at 14,000 kilograms, with a bone-crushing bite 10 times greater than an alligator, it's big, it's mean, it's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The T-Rex is feeling pretty confident about tonight's fight, and we can see why. Clocking in at 12 meters long and 6 meters tall, the T-Rex towers over its prey. And challenging this apex predator? It's fast, it's stealthy, and it's clever. Clever girl. Charging in at over 32 kilometers per hour, it's the Velociraptor. The Raptor is at an extreme disadvantage. Only two meters long and weighing in at 15 kilograms, it doesn't stand a chance in a one-on-one -on -one fight. It's starting to look like a David and Goliath situation, only this time, David brought 99 of his friends. While Velociraptors are solo hunters, they've put their differences aside to become the ultimate T-Rex hunting back. Why? Well, they have something to prove. The last time one of them picked a fight with a dinosaur this big, in this case, the Protoceratops, it became immortalized as a famous museum piece. Talk about kicking you when you're down, right? Will this be the comeback the Velociraptors are looking for? With their reputation on the line, we're in for one heck of a fight. The T-Rex is engaged at the prehistoric poolside bar and doesn't notice the 100 raptors laying in wait. Before it can say ambush, all 100 raptors swarm the T-Rex. Taken by surprise, the T-Rex is thrashed by hordes of sharp talons and serrated teeth. And what's this? The raptors are taking advantage of the fatal flaw of the T-Rex. It's tiny arms! With arms too short to fend off predators, the T-Rex is quickly overwhelmed. Will this psychological blow give the raptors the advantage? Not if T-Rex has anything to say about it. Fueled with rage, it unleashes a crushing bite on the army of raptors. Possessing a maximum bite force of over 5,000 kilograms, the T-Rex is bringing the pain. For perspective, its conical serrated teeth could crush a car. And with the T-Rex being able to gobble up 230 kilograms in a single bite, the Raptors take a hit. The fight becomes a test of endurance. Who will be the last dinosaur standing? The T-Rex is exhausted. It goes down while the remaining raptors rush in for the finisher. One, two, three. Wow, talk about a comeback. The winner is 100 Velociraptors. Or what's left of them. Now, let's take a look at the replay. This was a close one, folks. A single Velociraptor couldn't dream of taking on a T-Rex, but bringing 99 more into the ring evened the odds for the cunning predators. It was an exhausting standoff. Many raptors died in battle, but they ultimately 
brought down the mighty T-Rex. But let's give Rexy another shot at victory. How would the T-Rex fare against the Titanoboa? Well, we'll see who wins on the next round of Versus.